Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today, we are looking at Senator Bill Haggerty. He is one of the two senators from the state of Tennessee. He is a Republican, and before he took office, he was preceded in office by Lamar Alexander. Now, let's go ahead and look at who Haggerty is as an individual. He was born in Gallatin, Tennessee on August the 14th, 1959. Graduated Madisonville North Hopkins High School in Madisonville, Kentucky, in 1977, earned a Bachelor of Arts from Vanderbilt University in 1981, earned a JD from Vanderbilt University in 1984, was a management consultant, White House fellow and staff member during the George H. W. Bush administration, co-founder and managing director of private equity investment firm, commissioner of the Tennessee Department of Economic and Community Development 2011 to 2014, U.S. Ambassador to Japan 2017 to 2019 before being elected as a Republican to the United States Senate in 2020 for the term ending January 3rd, 2027. So yeah. He's in his first term, and he skipped being a member of the House of Representatives straight to the Senate. Now let's look at the committees he is on. He is on the Committee on Appropriations, of which he is on the Subcommittee on Commerce, Justice, Science, and Related Agencies. He's on the Subcommittee on Energy and Water Development. He is on the Subcommittee on Financial Services and General Government, of which he is a ranking member. He is also on the Subcommittee on Military Construction, Veterans Affairs, and Related Agencies, and he's on the Subcommittee on State Foreign Operations and Related Programs. He is also on the Committee on Ranking Housing and banking, housing, and urban development, of which he is on the subcommittee on housing, transportation, and community development, the subcommittee on national security and international trade and finance, of which he is a ranking member, and the subcommittee on securities, insurance, and investment. He is on the Committee on Foreign Relations, of which he is on the Subcommittee on East Asia, the Pacific, the International Cybersecurity Policy, the Subcommittee on Multilateral International Development, Multilateral Institutions, and International Economic Energy and Environmental Policy. He is also on the Subcommittee on State Department and USA Management, International Operations and Bilateral International Development, of which he is a ranking member. He is on the Committee on Rules and Administration and is on the Joint Committee on Printing. Now, let's look at the top five industry donors over his career. At the top, we have Securities and Investment, who altogether have donated $1,548,394. Next is Retired, who have donated $1,521,929. Next is Real Estate, who altogether have donated $949,733. Next is lawyers and law firms who altogether have donated $576,452. Next is 
And at number five is insurance. So altogether, I've donated three hundred and sixty-seven thousand three hundred and seventy-six dollars. Now, let's look at this top five individual donors and contributors over his career. At the top, number one, we have Apollo Global Management, an American private equity firm. Altogether, it has donated a total of $125,350. And once again, that's Apollo Global Management. Number two, state of Tennessee. The actual state he's a senator of. Uh, altogether, they have donated a total of $71,775. Next, oh, and that was the state of Tennessee. Next, at number three, we have HCA Incorporated. And they are HCA Healthcare, uh, which is an American for profit operator of healthcare facilities that was founded in 1968 and is based in Nashville, Tennessee. Altogether, it has donated a total of $71,575. And once again, that's HCA Incorporated. Next, at number four, we have FedEx formerly the Federal Express Corporation, and they are an American multinational conglomerate holding company focused on transportation, e-commerce, and business services based in Memphis, Tennessee. Altogether, they have donated a total of $65,350, and once again, that's FedEx. And at number five, we have Rogers Group Investments and they provide financial advisory services. Altogether, they have donated a total of $62,600. And once again, that's Rogers Group Investments. So, yeah, uh, I don't much care for Apollo and Rogers Group Investments. Just sounds like more of these equity companies like, yeah, let's invest in this and this and squeeze it dry. Healthcare shouldn't be for profit. I'm sorry, HCA Incorporated, but it should never be for profit. So that's one I would definitely turn away from. But yeah. This has been a look at Bill Haggerty, one of the two senators for the state of Tennessee. As always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting links in the description box below the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.